everyone, and welcome to the Canola Report. My name is Giovanna Battaglia from the Culture Department of Smashing Sicily. We are broadcasting from Sicily, from one of my olive trees here in my garden. And as you can see, my cat never leaves my side. And while we're talking, you might see my dogs and also my chickens wandering around. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Salinas Museum in Palermo. He has been awarded as one of the 10 best archaeological museum all over the world. It was founded in 1814, and it is the first archaeological museum established in Sicily. In the images, you can see the wonderful 3rd century before Christ bronze areas. Originally, there were two. Now, only one is left. Sicily is clearly a home for archaeology, and there are countless museums all over the island. And as beautiful as this one, there's also the one of Syracuse, and the one of the Valley of Temple of Agrigento. The advice is for those who want to visit Sicily not to miss one of these archaeological museums. And also while you're there, you should taste a wonderful ricotta cannolo. Etna is full of snow, as you can see from these images, at 2,000 meters above sea level. Skiing on the ice volcano in Europe is a unique experience since it gives you the opportunity to have the sea as a wonderful panorama. Indeed, you have the feeling as if you're reaching the sea. In this period in Sicily, above 1,500 meters of snow will make its appearance for the joy of children who are not very used to the scenery here on the island. Returning to Etna, it is truly fascinating and impressive to see this 3,300 meter high volcano rising all white on the Sicilian sky. The different dominations that have ruled Sicily in the past have brought mixtures of legends and traditions, both in history and in everyday life. Popular medicine has certainly drawn inspiration from different populations who live in Sicily. Potions created by Arabs, Normans, and Greeks and Aragonies. Who knows, for example, where this ancient potion against sore throat originated from? Rosanna Paternosto reports. In Sicily, you know, the smell of warm bread often fills up the homes and hearts and delights every palate. Women make an effort and offer bread and scacciate, that is mashed bread, that pleasantly is consumed seasoned with a little oil and a pinch of oregano, along with a good glass of wine, and why not, even a piece of tomato, which is Sicilian cheese. Often though, in certain times of the year, bread takes on curious forms and names. It is the case of the Panuzzi of San Biagio. They are shaped by Assunta, the lady who also is up in her home. She shows us how she masters an all-female know-how, handed down from generations. Hello, Assunta. Hello, Rosanna. What are you doing? I am making Panuzzi of San Biagio that are needed for the sore throats. Once a child swallowed a fish bone that was left in his throat. The legend says that that day there was a saint who miraculously brought out the bone from the throat of the child, saving him. And from that day, every eve of San Biagio, on February 1st, we prepare these breads that are offered for the goodwill of the saints. In Sicily, every excuse is good to party or to cook something, especially from spring until late autumn. It is a feast of something or a party of some saint everywhere. You put the flour in a bowl, then melt the yeast, put in a pinch of salt, then you add water, and you start to knead. Do you do them every year? Yes, yes, I do them every year. But always? Since when? Since I've been married, every year. And your mom used to do it as well? Yes, my mom, my sisters, even now, they are all at home preparing these little breads. Yeah. 
Here, when you do the first cut with the knife, you do a cross. Just like the Sicilian ones, sign of the cross, kiss the dough, and work in aura of secretness. What are these little cuts represent? They represent the throat in memory of the miracle of San Biagio. If you eat it, the sore throat really goes away. At least, sometimes. These breads are divided in church and among people. Often, I don't bring any at home. You don't bring any at home? You can say that they do not have any left. Because two for her, and two for her, and for my sisters, and to the one next to my granddaughter, to my daughter-in-law. We are used to making them now. Like my husband says, When I ask you something and you forget. The Sicilian husband, always grumbling. Now we will put them in the oven. How are they now? They are still white, they are not cooked, and they are still raw. Do you understand them from the color? Yes, yes. The breads are finally ready, and Asunda is preparing me some to take home. I have cheese and olives, wine as well. And what is there better than here in Sicily? Te saluto. Weather forecast mostly sunny on the whole island. Temperatures between 15 and 10 degrees in coastal areas. Snow above 1500 meters. On January 15 is the feast of San Mauro in Via Grande. In Via Grande for San Mauro there is the cattle fair. On January 17 is the feast of San Antonio Abate, protector of animals. And the religious festival is celebrated in several Sicilian towns. As usual, these events in Sicily become a folkloristic moment of great attraction and absolutely not to be missed when you are on the island. In Zafferan Etnea, the Kuduredi are distributed traditional little bread that is blessed. Also, the feast is deeply felt in Casaro, as our partner of our cultural department, Fabio Lanteri, tells us. Ciao a tutti, io sono Fabio Landeri, il vice sindaco di Cassero, un piccolo paese in provincia di Siracusa. I am the vice mayor of Cassero, a small town in the province of Siracusa. For San Antonio we do the so-called Giaccarata, a procession of torches that is accompanied by running the saint through the town. During the day there is also the blessing of the animals, and finally the Jalibro, in which gifts with various local products, such as cannoli, banate, salami and local cheeses, are displayed and auctioned. We'll wait for you in Cassaro. On January 20th is the Feast of San Sebastiano. It is celebrated in Barcellona Pozzo di Gotto with the tasting of the typical dessert called Jaurina, made with sugar and honey. In Gerami, with the traditional Agalata do Circo ritual, a bay leaf votive trophy decorated with bread and oranges. And also a great celebration of the saint in the artistic city of Agireale, in the province of Catania, with the feratory Poor by Barefoot Devotees. Let's hear what the respected Fabio Gripaldi from our cultural department has to say. Venire ad Agireale significa fare un viaggio nel bello, attraverso il Faith, passion, tradition, beauty, courage. These are the feelings that for almost five centuries have characterized the feast of San Sebastiano, the beloved patron of the city, to whom this church was dedicated, a masterpiece of the Baroque in Sicily. Here the feast of San Sebastiano is an experience that certainly must be lived, and only by living it Will you understand the relationship between the faithful and the holy martyr Sebastian? Insomma, venire da Cireale significa fare un viaggio attraverso la bellezza. For any information, do not hesitate to contact our cultural department. We are available to all the world for anyone who desires Sicily. This is our mission.
The sun is so strong that I could barely see, so I decided to put my sunglasses on. The Christmas period is over, and we want to reward two Christmas trees. This one entirely crocheted by the women of Castel Termini, and placed in the square. It is truly gorgeous, full of flair and poetry. A ceramic of woolen cotton, a tree that smells of Sicilian fruits and markets of sky and sea. And I will say that the bird mothers of Castel Termini succeeded perfectly. To make this tree, we used 1800 tiles that also came from fellow villagers, like Belgium, Canada, Germany. We wanted to give the tree the colors of our Sicily. And then we want to show you this tree, that it's very touching because it was made by the woods of migrants' boats. A Muslim artist named Ramsi created and donated to the sanctuary of the Madonna of the Lago in Siragusa. You can see the rusty nails and the wood modeled by the Mediterranean waters. So as an observer of uh, the Italian uh, society, I thought at a certain point that there is a big uh, confusion regarding the festivity and regarding the secularity of the state. Uh, I thought I, I have to do something for my community, which is Siragusa in this case, and also for my faith, which is Islam in this case. And I thought the best idea is to create this uh, tree, this Christmas tree, and donate it to a Catholic institution. And B, I want to remind everybody that Jesus, Jesus Christ himself was a migrant, was a refugee. It's important that we have to reflect about our roots, which are united roots. We don't come from different gods. We don't uh, belong to different planets. We all come from the same God, if there is God. And we have to work together towards peace and unity and resilience of uh, our communities. So the idea of the tree was me Muslim donate to my community a tree to celebrate with them and for them their uh, nativity. Let's still talk about Christmas. This is a jingle bus that traveled the streets of Catania to delight the many tourists who celebrated Christmas here in Etna city. And this one is one of the many bagpipe players who play on the streets of Sicily during the Christmas period. On January 14, 1968, the land was shaking in the western part of Sicily. A catastrophic earthquake literally brought down the Belgia Valley. Some towns were completely destroyed and rebuilt nearby, like Poggio Reale, which today is a ghost town a few kilometers from the new one, a real horror movie set. If you come to Sicily, do not miss a visit to the Belgia Valley, a concentrate of agricultural landscapes, post-earthquake ruins, and cities rebuilt with many futuristic works, often incomprehensible to the shepherds and farmers of Belice. In this beautiful video from the Luce Institute here in Sicily in 1938, Etna in the background and this Sicilian shepherd, women with a most and mustache, when a classic way carry jars of water on their heads. These characters of almost a hundred years ago. These little girls were almost a mustache the lava stone walls, the children who were already adults when they were young. This child is as tall as a sheep. Here are these two Sicilian women. And here is our shepherd friend with a party hat. Excellent acting, a beautiful Sicilian mustache. Ufuire, which means running away, is shame, but it's life-saving.
We entered first on the site of the ancient Acredina. It was one of the four grand divisions of Syracuse, Ortigia, Tyke and Neapolis being the names of the others. To these some topographers have added a fifth called a Pipiple, but it was more properly a popular suburb. And now we're in my kitchen because I was getting kind of cool outside. On Wednesday 15 for the Spiro of Sicily section, we will be broadcast the video, The Mother Lullaby of Sicily, dedicated to Sicilian lullabies and guided by the singer Rita Botto. From Monday 20, the radio will broadcast with the beautiful voice of Elizabeth King, Travels in Sicily, and Malta, the story of Patrick Britain's journey in 1770 to Sicily. Wednesday 22nd for the section The Voice, we will dive into the past with the extraordinary and funny stories of the Sicilian of the past. The next appointment with the Canova Report will be in two weeks, January 26th. We remind you that for the first months, the Canova Report will be broadcast every two weeks and then shortly after it will be on a weekly basis. It is time to say goodbye until the next time and wishing you a very smashing life. I just wanted to remind you that everything you see is only a result of the love and passion of Sicilians who do not receive any money or any funding from anyone. We support ourselves with the donations of all of those who believe on what we do. And what we're doing is a very, very great project never seen before. So please help us if you wanted to continue us to do this. I remind you our website, www.smashingsicily.com or just call us at plus three nine four seven five nine one three zero eight three. Thank you very much. See you soon.